Hello everyone, welcome to Learn with Fun. In this video, we are going to talk about text and markup. So, before learning what markup is, let's go to our Visual Studio code and check out a few things that we can do with it. So, guys, right now I have opened VS Code on the left and Google Chrome browser on the right. So, uh, why have I done this? You'll get to know a few minutes after watching this video. But it's going to be very useful to you. So, I suggest whenever you open your VS Code, just make sure that you open it in half of the, your screen and open Google Chrome or any other browser that you like on the other half of your screen. So, once we open our VS Code, we have two options here. The first one is to open a new file and the second one is to open a folder. So, I am going to open a new file. If you want, you can open a new folder or clone a repository if you know how to use GitHub. By the way, if you get stuck in anything ever, then your favorite search engine is your best friend. Just type everything or anything on your search engine and you would get to know what could be the possible solution. So I'm going to click on new file. And now I'm going to press command S or you can press Control S if you're using a Windows laptop and you can save this file. So this particular dialog box would appear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. This is the name that I want to give to this particular file. You can have any name. You can even have Priya or uh, you can say my HTML notes, anything. But there is one thing that you have to make sure. You have to add this full stop and then HTML. Now what this full stop and HTML does is it, it helps the computer to determine that this particular file is an HTML file. So now the computer would treat this my HTML notes file as an HTML file. And this HTML file, this has all our HTML code from which we will be making our web page. So once I've written this, I'm going to save this file. And now you must be able to see something. This particular thing has changed now and it is showing that it is an HTML document. So the best thing about this VS code is that it's going to highlight the syntax and even give you some prompts to help you select what your next or your upcoming syntax is going to be. We are going to type something very simple here. I'm just going to type today is a good day. That's it. I've written nothing else. And now I'm going to save this file. To save this file, press on Control S or press Command S. And now I'm going to hold this particular thing and drag it here. And once I do it, whatever is written inside my HTML file, that would be showing up on my browser. Oh my God, how is that even possible? So, let me tell you what's happening. We already know that an HTML file helps to create a web page. Now, a web browser helps to convert this HTML code into a code that the viewer can see. So, what is happening is, there is a text in my HTML document and this particular text is being displayed as it is in my web browser. Now, if I change this text and let's say, uh, yay. I just typed yay, but it is not showing the changes right here, right? So, whenever we write our code, our first step is going to be that we have to save our file. So, to save, we are going to press Ctrl S. After pressing Ctrl S, now is the major thing. I have saved the file, yet I am not able to see any changes on my browser. So, you have to refresh your browser. Once you refresh by clicking on this button or by clicking function F5, you'd be able to see the changes. So if I want to say again, hurrah, right? And then our first step is going to be to save this file and then go to the browser and refresh it. So that's how you're going to see your changes. So this is how you can convert your HTML into a web page. But what if I want this text to be a little big 
or if I want this text to show in red color. How are we going to do that? So to change the way our text looks inside the web browser, we use markup. So if you guys remember, HTML was hypertext markup language. Now you're seeing it? Markup? Yes. So using HTML, you can convert your normal text into a special text. So ultimately, what is markup? Markup is just text that has a special meaning. And using markup, we can make our normal text look a little different and have some different properties. So guys, that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to see how we can use markup to change the way our text looks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe to learn with fun. Keep learning and keep growing and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.